Welcome. You're tuned into Tangled Threads. If you're digging our content, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. Hey everyone. So, I never thought I'd be one of those guys sharing his personal drama on Reddit, but here I am. This is about my wife, Sarah, and how she cheated on me with my jujitsu coach. I'm Brian, by the way. We've been together for what feels like forever. Things were always good, you know? Regular couple stuff, nothing out of a fairy tale, but it was real. I started getting into jujitsu a couple of years back. It was more of a hobby at first, but then I got serious about it. Decided to join some competitions and all that. It meant a lot of training, a lot of time at the gym. Sarah, she was supportive at first, but as time went on, I could see she was getting upset. I was spending more time rolling on mats than with her. I tried to make it up, but you know how it is. Balancing life and a passion, it's tough. Things started to change. She'd be distant, sometimes picking fights over small stuff. I thought it was just the stress of me being away more often. Never did I think she'd, you know, cheat. So this one evening, I left something at the gym. I texted Sarah saying I'd be late, but she replied she wasn't home either and would be back late. I figured, okay, I'll just grab my stuff and head back, maybe get some sleep. The gym was closed for the day. Only reason I could get in was because the coach stays late to close up. You can probably guess where this is going. I walked in, not expecting anyone to be there, and that's when I saw them, my coach and Sarah, together. Man, it felt like a punch in the gut, worse than any I'd taken on the mat. Sarah saw me and the look on her face. It was like she'd seen a ghost. She started apologizing, saying all sorts of things. I don't even remember what she said. It was all just noise. My coach, he didn't say much, just stood there, looking guilty. I didn't say a word. What was there to say, you know? I just grabbed my stuff and walked out. The whole way home, my mind was racing. I felt angry, betrayed, confused. All of it. The aftermath was messy. Sarah tried to explain, to apologize more. Said it didn't mean anything, that she felt lonely and all. I couldn't deal with it. I walked into our house that night, the silence feeling heavier than usual. Sarah was sitting on the couch, her eyes red, probably from crying. I could barely look at her. Brian, I... She started, her voice shaky. Save it, Sarah, I said, not really wanting to hear any of it. No, please, just listen, she pleaded. I was lonely. You were always at the gym, and I just... Lonely? I interrupted, the word stinging more than I expected. So that's an excuse now? It's not an excuse, I just... I felt ignored, invisible, she tried to explain. You felt ignored? What about me, Sarah? Training for something I loved, something I thought you supported. I did, I do, but I don't know. I just needed someone to be there, and he was there, and it didn't mean anything. It was just, just what? I asked, my voice rising. Just a mistake? Just a moment of weakness? Which one is it, Sarah? I don't know, okay? She exclaimed, her voice breaking. I don't know why I did it. I was confused, and I felt abandoned, and her words fell flat echoing around the room. There was no solid reason, no justification that could make sense of it. She just bounced from one excuse to another, none of them holding any weight. It was clear there was no good reason, nothing that could make this right. I can't do this, Sarah, I said finally, the hurt in my voice undeniable. I just can't. I turned and walked away, leaving her there with her excuses and regrets. The conversation, if you could even call it that, was over. There was nothing more to say. As for jujitsu, I haven't been back to that gym. Found a new place to train. It's not the same, but I can't face my old coach. Not after everything. I know people say time heals and all that, but it's hard. Every time I think I'm moving past it, it just hits me all over again. I don't know what the future holds for Sarah and me. We had something good, and it just feels wasted now. Anyway, thanks for reading. Just needed to get it off my chest. Any advice or similar experiences, feel free to share. Maybe it'll help. I don't update. Hey again. So, there's been a new development in the whole saga with my wife and the jujitsu coach. You're not going to believe this. The gym, it's shut down now. Yeah, the one where I used to train. Here's the crazy part. I heard from a couple of guys who still went there that the health inspector came in and found all sorts of bacteria on the mats. Gross, right? But get this. They're saying it's because of the coach, the same one, having sex on the mats, 
and not cleaning up properly. I mean, I knew the guy was a sleaze, but this is next level. The story goes that the bacteria was so bad, some of the employees and gym members had to go see doctors. Can you imagine? Training and then finding out you've been rolling around in... Well, you get the picture. I don't know if all of it's true, though. It sounds like one of those wild rumors that gets out of hand. But then again, given what I walked in on, I wouldn't put it past the guy. The gym's closure, that part is true. I drove past it the other day, and it's all locked up, sign taken down. It's a weird feeling, you know. On one hand, it's kind of like karma for the coach. But on the other, it sucks for everyone else who trained there. Not everyone was a part of the drama. Most were just there to learn and get fit. As for me, I'm still at the new gym. It's a good place, clean, professional. Makes me realize how shady the old place was, in more ways than one. So, that's the update. Life is strange, huh? Just when you think you've seen it all, something like this comes out of left field. Anyway, thanks for all the support and advice you guys have been giving. It's been a wild ride, but I'm getting through it, one day at a time. Response one, man, that's rough. Sorry to hear about your gym, but honestly, it sounds like that place was a disaster waiting to happen. You're probably better off without it. And as for your wife, well, I can't say much that'll make it better, but it's good you found out now rather than later. Stay strong, dude. Better things are coming your way. Response two, wow, good riddance to that gym. And your coach, what a piece of work. You dodged a bullet, man. As for your wife, it's hard but maybe this is a wake-up call for you both. Whether you decide to work things out or move on, just make sure you're doing what's best for you. Take care of yourself first. Response three, dude, I can't even imagine how you must be feeling right now. But hey, at least you're out of that mess. You're probably in a much better place now, training-wise. As for your wife, it's a tough situation, but remember, it's not a reflection on you. You did nothing wrong. Keep your head up and keep moving forward. Well, that's it, I guess. I hope you're making it through okay, Brian. I know times like these can be challenging, but I'm sure you'll pull through. At least you haven't caught any disease. Seriously. What in the fuck? I mean, does the gym not have a bathroom? Or does the instructor have some weird mat fetish? Anyways, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. When you subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell. Click here for more Tangled Threads.